They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. Since we were talking about you know space, time, the material world, energy, so where does Kali fit in? Kali is a form of energy, right? But again, interestingly, going back to space and science, you know, you see this entire universe that we have, all the stars, galaxies, planets, etc., that we see, that we are able to see, that's just about six or seven percent of the entire universe. These are calculations by scientists. I don't know how they arrived at it, but that's the fact. You know, that's what they say. That the visible world in our universe is just about six or seven percent. Okay, about um, you know within it again, you know there is some aspect called dark matter, right? And then there is something called dark energy. So the dark matter is binding things together. and the dark energy is actually pulling things away and this energy component is actually about 68% of the universe of our universe or you know say about 37 70 if you uh, you know segregate roughly you know to make it easier so about 30% is matter and 70% is energy and out of 30% of matter also only 6 to 7% is visible matter rest is dark matter mm and out of this energy rest of it you know about 68% this is dark energy mm. so that is probably kali you know she is the she is the force of time she is the one that's pulling things apart you mm. know and the manifestations of dash mahavidya of kali they are again very beautifully related to all these concepts of space and time so the first one of course is kali kali is the dark energy of the universe she is the uh element of time again you know because now here all the elements that we talked about in trinity we'll find them reflected here in the dash mahavidyas so kali is time like shiva was time thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode